Hello world to this video. Today we're looking at how to create a word search template that you can either print out as an activity to use with your students or use it, uh, they can use it on screen via an activity that you're doing maybe as a formative assessment via your VLE or via Teams or, or Google Classroom assignments. So this activity template I'm creating could be done exactly the same in Google Slides. So if your college or school use Google Slides, then you could re reproduce this. So first off, we've got to make a decision as to whether we want to print it out and use it as a paper-based activity or whether we want to uh, attach it to Google Classroom or Teams assignments or your VLE as an assignment. If you are going to print it out, then the first thing I suggest you do is go to the Design tab, go to Slide Size, Page Setup, and from there you can choose from the drop down you can choose a four paper size so that's if you're going to create something that you're going to print out so we'll cancel that so i'm going to keep it as a screen based thing so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert a text box and then we're going to paste in i've got some words there. i'm going to go with uh, european uh, car manufacturers so that's what i've got there um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table. So it's the quickest way to get my grid. So we go to table and we can determine how many we want. So we want to have, let's go with 11 by 11 and insert. Now initially it gives it a rectangle, but we want the boxes to be square so we can adjust by just dragging, clicking and dragging, we can adjust it so we've got square boxes. Uh, we can then move that along and we can get rid of the heading. So I don't need the heading, so we can get rid of that header row there. So I've now got my grid ready. So having got that ready, you could change the design of it. So you could look at shading and determine what you want. I'm quite happy having those different colors. So you can then start to put your letters in. One thing I suggest you do is type in one of the letters, select that letter to get it to the size that you want. So we go back to the home menu, we can adjust the size. So let's try 20 and we want it to be centered. And then what we can do is we can select all the boxes and we can format the text so it's correct. So let's maybe make it slightly bigger. Let's go with 21, 21 and we want it to be centered. And then all of the remaining letters that you put in will do that. So then you can start to add your words. So we're gonna have, let's have Skoda coming down here. And I'm just clicking in the boxes to add the letters for each of the words. And obviously you can move this around as you want. So we'll have Skoda there. And we may have, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can fit, um, Thatcher in here. And you can build that up as you go and you can determine where they're going to go. You may have some overlapping like I've got there. You may have some that are separate. So maybe we can put Ford in here. And you can keep building it up as you go. So we could have another one looking at that and we can go diagonally, we can go up and down. So we could do Honda. Uh, let's get that right, that always helps. So let's do H, O and make that an N. And what you're doing is just putting in your letters as you go. So we've got our words now, we've got Honda, we've got Ford. Um, let's try, I think Lamborghini is probably going to have to go along the whole width. So we'll put that in. missed letter somehow I have so we'll just uh, adjust that R H I N I and you can keep doing that I've, I've put in enough for the moment okay so having done 
that you can then start to populate the rest of your letters so you can just type in letters so I can just type in a mixture of different letters all the way through until I finish populating the whole of my grid so obviously you don't need to watch me doing that so here's one that I've populated so you can see I've populated that now with all of the letters and that's ready to be shared with my students. What I can also do is I can create a separate copy that has all the answers, so there they are marked out in red. And what's really nice about this, if you're using it electronically with your students, so potentially you could do this maybe at the start of the lesson, I know lots of teachers come back to me and say, well, that's all well and good, James, but I only have one computer available to me and that's the one that I use um, with my students at the front of the class. Well, that's fine, you could bring this up on the projector screen and ask students to come up and then use the draw feature to highlight where the letters are so you could get them to come up and mark on there picking out the letters so we've got Honda there and the same with the others you could go through and find them all as they go so Lamborghini is there and Ford is there and that's quite nice so just using the draw feature they can fill up and that's you using it at the front of the classroom or you could uh, as I said already you could attach it as an assignment to your VLE or to Microsoft Teams assignments or Google Classroom assignments depending on which platform you use and the other option is you could go old school and print it out and the students could draw on it but it's a fun way of getting the students to engage with the vocabulary start to learn how to spell the words I've seen it being used initially the students find the words and then when they when they're going through and pointing out where the words are they have to explain the meaning of that word and the context of how it's used with your subject so that's my quick go I'll put a link to this template in the description below if you're looking for other ideas um, then click on the banner in the top right hand corner and you can watch my video on how to create a, a Padlet style template using PowerPoint um, and that link's also in the video beneath but I hope you found that useful if you did give me a thumbs up and join me again soon for more EdTech videos thanks for watching